None of us like that kind of thing. Get some more in there. You reckon? Well, have a look at this. Here's a new species we've just found. Ed's a little bit wary about his new hair transplant, so... Right, hello everybody. Uh, what day is it today? Tuesday, start of another week. I say that, actually yesterday was a bank holiday here in the UK, so it's technically not a work day. However, Kel surprise, AD and I were in here uh, painting the Kingfisher that you may have seen on the last video. Ha! So no bank holiday day off for us. Ooh, no sorry. Now, my day has started with, what has it started with so far? Uh, two trips to suppliers before I came in here. Plus I get in here, I have to ship a parcel out very, very quickly before I miss the cutoff deadline, which I think I hit by about three minutes to go. Then, bing bong, we get some visitors come in and they were just passing. Uh, so I've now spent uh, an hour uh, with them where I didn't know anybody was coming in, but that's it, you know, they drop in, they've wanted to come and have a look around, so that's what we've done. We kind of look around, we've been in the paint part, we've been out the back and looked at all the behind the scenes stuff that we always have a look at. So that's been done as well. Now, finally, at 12 o'clock, unbelievably, I can start the day. Right then. Okay, let's have a status update. So, still got my accounts to do, which is that giant pile of paper up there, which I've been putting off now. And it's, what, the 4th of May, and I should have done that five days ago. Uh -uh. Right, what else can I tell you? So, um, I'm just at the moment trying to come up with a different thumbnail for the live streams. Uh, Aidy's idea to maybe do a thumbnail with four examples of actually what the high definition cameras look like. So having a play around with that. This is my core web vitals. If you don't know what that means, it's the back end of the website that Google looks at. And um, yeah, there's a nice, uh, nice pattern of user experience going up and up looks. And this is a very... Very crucial thing for uh, for websites at the moment as we're recording this. Uh, core Web Vitals. There you go. I didn't think I'd be talking about that when I got out of bed this morning, especially to you. But uh, it's a very important thing that um, if you've got a website that you really need to be quite aware of. And it's about the user experience. So essentially, if you go onto any website, how quickly does it load? Does it jump around the screen? Is it seamless? Does it feel really quick? Is it giving you what you need? So I'm always constantly looking at better ways to improve the website so that for anyone who's visiting it, it actually feels like it's a really good place to be. You know, this should all be centered around the art and how good the art is and whether you engage with it or not. And having a slow, clunky, difficult to use website, constant spinning little wheels, things that jump around the page, adverts and banners, none of us like that kind of thing. So it's really trying to stay on top of what's happening, what Google expects of you, and actually how best to give the, the, the user you know, the experience that they want. So anyway, that's that. So I've been having, a, I'm just tidying up as I go along. So I've been having a little bit of time with that. Aidy's on his way in, because he's had something to sort out this morning. Now I'm gonna disappear downstairs to the business down there, Stroud Auction Rooms, and go and collect a belt sander, which was delivered on Friday last week. Yeah, we weren't here on Friday, were we? We were out. Anyway, that's where I'm going next. Fire him up, bud. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at that now. Now the balloon, Dad! Oh, I say. Oh, I say. Show us, man. Can we come to the car from there, shall we? Oh, what about the other one? Razor Show. Look at that. Right. 
The world's most expensive pencil, expensive pencil sharpener. Expensive pencil. Expensive pencil, pencil, pencil. The world's most expensive pencil sharpener. Right, send it back. Okay, so over the uh, over the bank holiday, we've been resting this. We've put some sealant on the inside. So this is test number 865 to see if it's watertight. Uh, actually, I think that is. Get some more in there. You reckon? All right, fill it, fill her up. Fill her up. Well, you, you've done fill the ceiling, up. so obviously it's going to be watertight, isn't it? Because you've done it. You look all right. Yeah, it looks all right. That's it. It's no, watertight. mate, that's, uh, that is absolutely superb. Well, I say watertight, I mean resin tight. Resin tight, yes. Resin Did we mention tight. the word resin there, mate? Resin. Oh, we're giving the game away. Okay, right. Empty it. That's done. A win. That's a win. Yeah. What you got there, buddy? Yeah. Well, come and have a look at this. Shall I tell you where this came from? This was done on a live stream. How amazing does that look, mate? Um, in fact, I'll tell you, there were two done on the live stream that night. Uh, I think we should probably pop a link up there. Yes, yeah, so I'll pop a link up there. Because actually, come and have a look at the other one. Because we're about to go and stretch this one as well. Two completely different paintings, one very similar technique, but look how amazing that is. These long rivers and swells, I think they're just mind-blowing. So we'll probably give you uh, some close-ups of that when we finish stretching it. I am Officer of the Lair. Do you have a license for this minky? So Ed's a little bit wary about his new hair transplant, so don't, don't, don't say anything. Right. Right. <coughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Right then. So people don't believe us when I say just how hard wearing the paints are when they're dry and on canvas. So we are going to demonstrate with a little experiment. Right. Do it then, dude. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. And again? Ready? Yeah, yeah, go for it. There you go. Practice what we preach. And that is two cups of water put over it. guys well what a topsy-turvy day that's been all kinds of things happening people visiting deliveries oh, new machinery figuring out what happens next client commissions stretching canvases and all manner of other stuff well who says that our life is not varied I'll tell you what you never get bored doing this <laughs> but now at nearly quarter to seven I think it's about time that we wrap things up and went home if you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, yes, and we all know what Wednesday is, it's live stream day. We've just been to collect some materials, some paint and some stretcher bars, uh, ready to start the day. I have to say though, it's looking very, very ominous over there with those black clouds. I think we're in for a bit of a storm. Never mind, lots to do. So we'll get unpacked and get the studio open.
don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> that rain isn't half coming down. Oh, okay. Yeah, those buckets are filling up nicely. Rain, 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 rain. All it does is rain. Oh, and now it's hailing. What on earth? We got a bit of a leak. Oh my life. Getting a bit serious now. Right, we've got it coming onto the paintings. Yeah, it's, uh, it's covered. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just had a mad rush. Get everything sorted for uh, live stream. Ed's getting changed in there. Uh, we're uh, pretty much ready to rock and roll. So we should be live in about 15 minutes. Oh, and the sun's shining now. So where it's hailstones and, I don't know, lightning, thunder, dark, gloomy clouds, it's now beautiful sunshine. Welcome to Britain. Right. Okay. There he is, there's the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> there we go, getting the mic on so I can chat to everybody. And then I've got my internal mic to AD, which will be the next one. That goes in the other ear. Uh, just about to harness up for chest cam. So that's the next one. And then he's got a massive box of batteries and all kinds of things to get hold of. Oh, yeah. And I've also got to set up a second iPhone for streaming onto Instagram. So, yeah, a little bit to do still. Yeah, always a mad rush, though. Always a mad rush on a live stream. So we're going to get the batteries. Right. Not running. Not running. Not running. Not running to get the batteries. Not running. Batteries. Oh, other batteries. Batteries. Running. Not running. Not running. Not running. I don't. I don't not do. Running, not running. I don't do running. You don't do running on TV. No. no. Absolutely not. Just very enthusiastic and moving. Very enthusiastic. Yep. Yeah. So there we are. Ready to go. Ooh, eleven likes already. live stream just finished uh, so down here I'm looking at real time what we've got the corner cameras ETZ and things like that overhead and then up top is just checking that the stream is playing fine so we always check and make sure that our stream is okay and that everything's gone out and the critical part is making sure the settings that it's showing at uh, 1080 60 frames a second. But all looks good. Yeah, this looks good. Do a fast forward loop. Yeah, but I will fail to uh, create the page. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Well, Friday morning. And it's time to open up. Oh! Got a bit of sunshine out there too. Hey, hey, hey. Time to do a bit of tidying up, a bit of shuffling, a bit of this, a bit of that. I've got some work to do. Now, I've got to remove our lathe off the table for now, temporarily. Put the second sander onto this table.
go. It's a bit tidier now. Cleaner for the setup. Nice. Right. Time to go and do a bit of sanding. Okay, so we'll give this a bit of a bit of a rub down. The Kingfisher. I'll go sand it down. Again. Time to lock up. Time to head home. Back again tomorrow. Do some more. Okay, right. Well, it's a Saturday morning. It's a very rainy, grey, miserable Saturday morning and the heavens have opened. However, uh, we've still got quite a bit of work to do, including painting a five foot tall kingfisher. So that's what we're going to get on with now. Right. That is a new species we've just found called the batfisher. Yeah, believe it or not, that's how it's going to be painted. <laughs> 